Greetings, I'm Rob Chappers. And I'm the captain. Back by popular demand. We are. Lots and of people wanted to put a mask on me. They did. You love the blindfold videos. So we thought we'd do another style of blindfold video um, today. This one is going to involve me getting four, yes, four uh, guitars from the same uh, guitar manufacturer from the same range. Right. Rob doesn't know what these guitars are going to be yet. No. Um, and... And I'm uh, nervous, and Lee's <laughs> going to be laughing at me a lot, and this time promises on his life that he won't make any signs that I'll discover when I'm editing the video back at home in Casa Chapa. And so the idea is Rob ha <laughs> Rob hasn't got to guess what the guitar is. Or in fact, I'll probably tell Rob what the guitar is, but Rob has got to guess which order do they go in in terms of price. So which is the cheapest one, which is the dearest one, and how do the two in between okay. feel? Captain Chapa, sound you do not achieve. Do you accept the challenge? I accept it, provided I can be Vader with dreads. You need I think to be Vader with dreads. Uh, as you can see, I've modified our Vader math to put some um, blue uh, plastic stuff in the eyes so that... Uh, I actually cut my dreads see. to make them a little bit more practical. They are for, uh, more this is all me now, because previously I had a bit of extension in. I had a random, random Asian chick on my head. <laughs> and now, now it's just me. I had some extensions in, and then, and then <laughs> I did this, and... Mm. <laughs> Do you accept the challenge, Mr. Rob, and are you ready to go? I accept the challenge on behalf of the Empire. Awesome. And people that want to know that I can judge a guitar with my hands. Right, Rabir is passing me guitar number one. So, anyway, there you are, Mr. Rob. Have a guitar. There's a strap on it, uh, as you requested. Yes. I know oh. you like a strap on. <laughs> Uh, <laughs> do you need a plectrum? I do. Wait a minute, there might be one in my pocket. Don't stand on the mic stand. I wouldn't touch it's them, the I promise. Of Revere. I How promise would you know? You don't know where they are. They're right behind you. Okay, so you've got a thing. Now, uh, amplifier, we're going to start with a clean sound and do a dirty sound. Um, and uh, everything's been tuned, so it should all be good. Uh, well, you're going to work this out because you're going to, well, you can probably feel from the shape. So the guitars are from one of your favorite brands, ESP. Oh, okay. Um, and <laughs> uh, they are all the uh, Eclipse model. Right. So you just have to guess kind of like which is the cheapest and which is the dearest of the Eclipse models. You can do whatever you like. You can feel, play, Okay. Blah, so, blah, blah. so you just from, can't look. From my knowledge base in my mind, I know that there are sort of three or four levels of Eclipseness, aren't there? More than that. More than that, really? Yes. Uh, there's probably uh, five I, or six. No, okay, can you can you plug me? Oh, you, into yes, a... I better plug you in, haven't I? So let's put that in there, and let's go. Do you want it on high or low power? We were on low. Uh, we? Low power. to um, give us a clap. <laughs> Just if you didn't you know get, what I went to Rob's do. tried to put the plectrum in his mouth. Yeah. Obviously not realising. Thank you, sir. Uh, it's quite a nice clean tone, isn't it? It's all right. Which I makes me comment, think it might I? be EMGs because they have, I mean, as much as people hate on them, and I don't understand why really, because you're going to put batteries in, a, in an overdrive pedal or whatever, um, but they have great clean tones. <laughs> If I could get my yeah, cover. Can... I reckon that's CMGs. Do you want a dirty tone? Yeah, give me some filth. That's a cool riff, man. <laughs> Remember that one? You should do all your writing blindfold. Yeah, well, I probably should do. Sounds 
great. And, and I think it's the MGs. I think it's a mid-range. Uh, I'm going to say this is an LTD. Right. Well, um, I'm, yeah. not, I'm not going to push you for. Um, I'm not going to push you for a, 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 any sort of firm comment at the moment because you've only played one, so it'd be hard to know. But I'll, I'll make a note in brackets to remind you that you think he thinks CMGs and it's an LTD. ES EMGs. And uh, and LTD. I'm sensing uh, the dark side of the force flowing through this guitar. Does uh, anybody else remember when they were, if they're kind of my age, when Star Wars came out and you could you could get Chewbacca's kind of bandolier thing if you bought enough stickers or some. <laughs> it's so exciting, and I never got one. Ooh. Here's another guitar. Do you want a hand? This might be a long so, video. I'll, I'll do this. <laughs> we can always speed this bit up. Can't yeah. We? Oh, surprisingly soft and supple. That that one is. On. Yeah. This end was a bit You're harder. You always saying there's always one end that's harder than the other. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> okay. Immediately. Yes. This just feels a little bit cheaper. What makes you say that? Uh it's the finish. I don't know actually. Uh, it's it's something to do with the way the finish feels. I can't, I'm probably completely wrong. And I'm, I'm probably going to be ridiculed anything. beyond belief now. Impartial face. Although you can't see what my face is anyway, so it doesn't matter. Um, do, you want, do you want to hear it? Yes, please. Okay, we'll go clean sound first. A lot warmer, isn't it? So it's not EMGs, it's um, it's you know, magnet regular passives. Yeah. And yeah. But it sounds good. But my intuition tells me this is cheaper. What about we go dirty drive? Do you we want go dirty, dirty drive. drive. Sounds wicked. Sounds really great. I totally forgot to do handy cam, so give us a clap and just play for 20 seconds. Okay, ready? Yeah. <laughs> Are you sure it's handy camming? Uh, it's definitely handy camming, yeah. I didn't hear a ping. It's definitely doing it. <laughs> Say something, Mr. Vader. Yes. Could you look more towards the camera? I know you don't know where it is. <laughs> where sort of, is the camera? Or, or sort of, <laughs> more sort of that way. Otherwise, people aren't really going to get the full effect of the comedy value of you wearing a Darth Vader. Right. Mask. <laughs> and you can look down a bit as well. You don't have to look so far up. That's the I was facing down a bit. the camera. No, you were facing more me. Right. Okay. Right. Yeah. Well. So overall, mm. this sounds great. It feels okay. But the previous guitar felt better. Right. Uh, but I think this sounds better. Okay. So a bit of a discrepancy there. I think it's cheaper than the previous guitar, but I have no idea where it sits. Okay, right. Let's pop that on the wall. We can always revisit these at the end. Excuse me, Mr. C, while I just, uh, yep. Oh, there's a third one for you. I'll close up for everyone so you can see what this is. Um, oh. I keep assuming you can see, which obviously is I a, can't see. a bit of a schoolboy error. Right. 
Is that crystal clean on the amp? I haven't changed any of the settings. It's very definitely EMGs. It's so hard playing with a blindfold on. Yeah, I recognise the way it feels when you play Legato on it. Feels like an ESP Eclipse. They're a good band, Legato, aren't they? They're a great band. <laughs> right, OK. I shall put this on the board, uh, on the wall, sorry, as well. So, don't worry, I'm taking this off you now. Guitar, what's that? De jour, or whatever de jour. it is. I don't know. Guitar oh. de jour. Right, thank you. I'll just clunk that in there. Pop this doodah on here. And, Why um, do I think this is going to be a joke? Is this going to be some kind no, of... No, no, no. There's, there's no... One of those carved devil woman guitars that they had in the 80s that no one ever bought. Arm through there. That's it. Well uh, done, sir. Well done, sir. Right. Oh, man. <laughs> now this feels expensive. Okay. So I'll just write down on here what the fourth one is. Here we go. Here's a clean tone. Feels great to play. Yeah. Uh, the pickups sound a bit different. Well, quite different. Warmer. Still very clean. What a dirty sound. Yeah, dirty me up, man. Give us a clap. See, I remembered this time. Oh God, I have absolutely no idea. I, I, my inclination now is to say that this is the most expensive one, but but the last one felt really nice okay. and was more reminiscent of an eclipse to me than this is. So I'm gonna say that in the order I received them, yes. the cheapest one was the second one I played. Okie dokie. And that the last one I played was the most expensive, and this is the one below that. 
So you think that, so right, so the second one you think is the cheapest. Yeah. Would you like, I tell you, without plugging them back in again, I'm going to just hand you the, uh, I'm gonna hand you the guitars in the order that you think they go up in cheapness, just for you to, right. so at the moment we got the second one was the cheapest, the first one was the second cheapest. Yeah. The this third, one is number three, the th and then the one okay, one so I just the third had one was the was the dearest. Yeah. And the fourth was, no, what am I talking about? Yeah, and the fourth one was the third cheapest. My God, that doesn't make any sense at all, but I know what I'm talking about. So, uh, let's take these guitars off you, put the amp on standby, and I will simply give you them one after the other for you to Okay, I don't need the strap review. on in you this don't. case. No, you don't, you're right. Hand me guitar number one. The cheapest one, you thought, was this one. So just go, I concur, or no, I would like to change my decision, please, Bob. <laughs> well, what was Am I facing was the that? camera still? No, hang on. Which <laughs> There, you're facing the camera now. <laughs> what, what was the thing where, oh no, it's, it's Chris Tarrant, isn't it? It's who wants to be a millionaire or whatever. Yeah. It is. is it who wants to be a millionaire? Can't yeah, this is, this is. Is that your final answer? Yeah, but it <laughs> sounded great answer? though. So I, I, I think I, can I say that these pickups yep. are really, really nice. Yeah. And I, and I really like the sound of them. But yeah, this is, I think okay. this is the cheapest. So it's your final answer is this is the cheapest one. Thank you, sir. Um, here's <clears throat> what you thought is the second cheapest. Whoa. Okay. Yeah, it just plays a bit better. Fretboard feels nicer. The frets feel nicer. You can tell by the way I'm playing, it just plays easier. Okay. So, yeah. So, so you think that's the second... Well, I, I, cur <laughs> I no. currently do. So this is what you think was the third cheapest, or second dearest, depending on which way round we go. <gasps> Can I just say, I think this is probably the hardest blindfold challenge we've ever given you. Is it really? I think so. Oh God. With the exception, I'm gonna give, do you know what? I'm gonna say this to you now, okay? No, I'm not gonna give anything away. I'm not what, gonna give what anything away. What does that away. mean? No, I was, I was, I was, I was gonna putting... try and give you a clue to right. just sort of, to, to give you some encouragement, but, okay. I, but I just thought, no, I'm not even gonna give you a clue. So bottom line is, <laughs> so that- I mean, I've massively- <laughs> <laughs> I'm not saying anything at all. Right, I stand by my decision. Okay, this and is this is the one that you think is the most oh, expensive. Oh God! Um, the bit of encouragement that I was going to give you is that I have no idea how you're telling these apart because they just all seem to. Uh, I'm going look and purely feel the same. based upon feel. Yeah, it's all just feel. Because the thing is that the one I'm saying is cheap <clears throat> to me sounded great. Yeah. But there was something about the feel, the playability. Like this, this is the easiest to play. And it's... Yeah, it's, it's just, I mean, it just okay. plays. So you're sticking with, is that your final answer? Yes. Perfect. Oh right. God. Hang on, I will now hang these on the wall in the order <coughs> that you thought and if this isn't a very expensive guitar, then it's very well made. Okay. Feel free to remove your Vader Marth. Okay. I'm going to need time to acclimatise. I'll get your glasses. So the, oh my god. Oh, you've got a big red mark where that blue plastic on the inside is. It was quite, it was yeah. quite this tight. This is how professional Rob is. That's really oh. uncomfortable to wear. It's just got like a blue bin liner or oh, something taped inside. Stings. You couldn't see anything through that, could you? No. Oh, it stinks in there as well. Yeah, that's like, just me. It's got Rob sweat. Look. Oh, how many fans of Rob out there would just like to lick the inside of this mask? Well, I, I once had a fan by fan. I once had a follower. I hate using the word fan. Uh, who bought Followers a, even worse. It makes it sound like an occult. Well, no, I, I sold a piece of half-eaten toast for charity, and he bought that. And I had another guy who purchased a guitar from me, and he said there was little bits of hair on the neck that he kept in a bag. <laughs> <laughs> 
Oh no! <laughs> no! <laughs> I've massively f <laughs> Oh sh <laughs> so that was the the clue I was going to give you was essentially that I think the first one was the obvious one because the the, the cheapest one clearly it sounded really good though man it sounded great but it's the only it, 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 you know it's the bolt on neck one it's the gloss finished one uh, do you it know doesn't what? have any binding can I just say kind of stuff. genuinely yeah didn't even feel that it was a bolt on yeah didn't think to feel but didn't notice yeah. by playing it it was a bolt on so. The, the next three, though, that was right. The, the bit of encouragement that I was going to give you was like, man, these are going to be really hard to tell <sighs> apart. Because obviously they're all EMG loaded. Yeah. So they're all going to have a relatively similar tone. Um, and, um, you know, and, and they're all the same sort of matte black finish. They're all bound. Uh, interestingly, I mean, the, the, the Eclipse... The well, of course, you should have had the same battery in each of them, so the charge was was equal amongst the... That's very the, true. The thing. Um, is the only one with an ebony board on it, right? Which, which obviously didn't, which I didn't notice, didn't pick up. No. Um, so, well, and then, ironically, the dearest one that you chose, I suppose that the the the, the, the weird bit. Oh my god, is, it's the four hundred. Yeah, the dearest one you've you've actually had should have been the second cheapest, if you like. Right. And the one thousand should have been here, and the eclipse should have been here. So right. um, that four hundred feels reminiscent yeah. to an ESP eclipse I used to own about three years ago. People so. who've followed me will know. So that feels very much like an ESP. That the, these all they all felt great. This one less so. This one sounded nice. There are some hardware differences that that um, kind of Rob didn't sort of uh, try to, to touch, if you like, because I think sometimes perhaps that gives things away well, too Well, I'm not easily. familiar with, with... No, I just mean as in, you know, locking machine heads versus non-locking machine heads would have given you a clue as to whether one was dear or not. So that, yeah. uh, which I intentionally sort of, I didn't want you to touch those bits because I didn't want you to sort of be thinking, oh, I wanted it purely yeah. on feel and tone. Well, there you go. So I've shown myself up to not be as good as I thought I was in terms of guessing with the blindfold on. Well, I, I don't well, know, I mean, you, you, you guessed all the Gibson ones completely right before. Uh, what yeah. happened in the Fender one? Was that the one where I picked out the Squire thing? Yeah. It was the custom shop. Yeah. That's got to be the ultimate <laughs> car, hasn't it? So who makes that then? Um, so you've got that one and that one come out of Korea. Right. Um, <laughs> the uh, This one obviously is Japanese. Yeah. The proper ESP factory. Yeah. I guess, I can't remember where that, I think it's Chinese, the... Um, Let's find out, man. EC100. Great pickups. Um, it really, yeah, I mean, that was, or Indonesia? China, yeah. China, yeah. Well, um, so, there you go. I think, those, I think those are Damasio clones, those. Probably. Um, but there you go, I don't know what that shows you, other than the fact that it's really hard to tell four black guitars apart with a Vader you mask You know what on. we haven't done, actually, is I haven't actually told you the price differences. If you hang on a right, second. Right, do it. So. So how much is my most expensive guitar? 15, well, just under £1,500, and it's an Eclipse 1 custom in vintage black. But that's still 1500 quid. Fif sorry, no, sorry, 15... Oh, sorry, how right, much is that? Right, yeah, my guitar? most expensive guitar, the 400. £616. Pounds. Okay, so it's still quite About an expensive guitar. Pounds. I feel slightly reassured that it's still got some value oh, yeah. to it. And there's not a massive price difference between that and the and the 1000 The 1000 is £800. Pounds. Okay. Um, the... that Which is that one. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The, Proper Eclipse is just under fifteen hundred pounds. Yeah, and I haven't got a swing ticket for the Chinese one, but off the top of my head, it was about two hundred and fifty pounds. Two fifty. Yeah. Well, there you go, man. Can I just say that was incredibly hard work, <laughs> and I'm really sorry about the playing. I just when you can't see anything at all, everything just feels mm. you're searching for a route to then play from, and yeah. That's my excuse anyway. Well, I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope you enjoyed the uh, awesome tones again. I did. Uh, we're going to do this again. Back. We are. We're going to probably try and do this a lot. And I'm going to just so that you know, just in case anyone at ESP is worried uh, that we've picked on you, or we haven't. We'll do the same for Ibanez. We'll do the same for. Well, they all sounded great. Jackson. Yeah, that's true. Yeah. Um, uh, so there you go. Yes. Quite interesting. If you like this format of video. Say, I like this format of video. And as tradition uh, dictates, <laughs> I've been Rob Chapman. And I've been the captain. Chappers and Cabin Mount.